So Zach, we're in the cab of the 8700S series tractor, taking a look at the Datatronic 5 monitor. It's important for me to be able to view my headland functions and also view my auto guide map at the same time. Can you show me the benefit of the split screen uh, feature in the Datatronic 5? Sure, Zach. So there's a couple options we can do here. One would actually be in the quick tabs here. We can tap on this, and you actually can put the headland sequence in three boxes. So for instance, I'll trash these two. So now I have three open boxes where I can choose headland. Now if I press back, you have your headland sequence shown here. So this will roll through as you go through that automatic sequence. And then you can swipe over to your map, and you'd have the map here and headland visibility there. If this was too small for you, the next option would be to go to the split screen function by pressing the quadrant button. And now we're going to take a look at two functions in larger screens. So for instance, right now we have hydraulics on the left, camera on the right, but let's set that up like Zach wanted. So to do that, we can tap on the three menu button, and we can choose our map function right here. So now we have our map on the left-hand side, and let's say we want to put that headland sequence on the right, so you go into the three dot menu button, Choose your headland sequence, and now you have your headland sequence here. So from here, as you run that sequence, you'll watch each step work, so you can vis visually see the progress. You can watch hydraulic valves run so you, you know they're actually working. And then we would actually have visibility to the guidance map on the left-hand side. Other things you can do is actually start and stop that headland sequence. So with it on, this means it has the ability to run in the automatic mode, versus off, it does not. Say you're not happy with the sequence, you want to go in and make a change to it. We can just hit the gear with the wrench icon, and this pulls you into the settings page for your headland sequence where you can make changes. You hit our back arrow and we're back. Same thing here on the map. So the map gives you a couple capabilities such as your zoom functions, or you can go into a full map view where you can access the full menu to actually go in and make guidance changes. So if I hit the home button, it takes us back to the split screen where again I can scroll through the different functions to get them set up. Let's say we're happy with what we've got. Maybe we want to exit split screen. We would just hit the four quadrants and this would take us back to the normal view where we can swipe through different functions. Thanks, Zach.